officer. Boy, his hand is too Oh my god. Yo, what's what's up, y'all? Look, all right, so PBA. I've been wanting to low key start this for for a while now. Um, I've played like a little bit of like of them, but it's been a long time ago. So some of this is gonna be like a refresher. I might not remember everything, but I I never got to play like like the later ones that came out. So I kind of just want to play all this again. This is a really good series anyways. So. You know what I'm saying without further ado, I don't want to waste y'all time. So let's get started. Uh, uh. Oh, this even pushed a little. Oh, yeah, let's do it this way. All right. Episode one, I mean, episodes on this shit. Okay. So six, I guess. All right, episode one, y'all. Let's just get into it. This game series adapts to the choices you made. It uh, went away kind of fast, not gonna lie, went away pretty damn fast. I'm kind of shocked that I even like these story based games like this. Not story based, but like choice based games. But I ain't gonna lie, them shits be fire. Story be fire on these shits. Episode 1 A New Day. Starting it off with a black man in handcuffs. Ain't that about a bitch? Yeah, yeah, you looking at me, nigga. Yeah, I'm black. Fucker. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Did what? Does it really matter, you know? Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Should have gave us that nah, silent treatment, not bitch. Much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> that sucks. We got what looks like a Damn, brother. If I'm not mistaken, his name is Lee. I think. I guess I we're just going to look at the a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. What did he do? Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Why are you talking about my wife? I got much choice? Sure don't. <laughs> he picked up on that. Ooh. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Why you ain't say it? I ain't like he ain't had to say that. That was kind of crazy, though. All right. 
You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Um, he ain't worried about that? That, that looked a little crazy. Helicopter and all. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. That's nasty. Then before long, he starts <clears throat> kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. What did he do? How did he do it? Huh. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Whoa. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Damn. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Yeah. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. Hey, boy, the fuck that is? Oh shit! This other time. <laughs> to you and keep your eyes on the motherfucking road. Jesus. Nice going. Uh, I don't know if he's a deputy or something. He's, some, he, he's law enforcement and he should be keeping his eyes on the fucking road. God damn it. Now we in a damn car accident. You probably dead in the motherfucking road. Oh my God, that noise. What is, what's going on with my man? I gotta remember this is a bit of an old game, but that, that wound ain't look like shit just now. That shit look like tattered clothes. Not even like a damn. 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 Cop? Boy, you about dead in a motherfucker. Damn, look at his body. <laughs> hey. Hey, officer. Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here. Man, look at him. That nigga did not look alright. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Um. Oh. Oh. Bet. Bet. Keep that bitch. I need to drag myself out that window. All right, let's do it. Hmm. Ooh. Damn, look at the hill. Uh, Holy shit, that's steep. How the uh, hell do we... Oh my god. I'm sorry, that's all we got. No broken bones, just like... A, <laughs> a ripped up leg, a torn leg. I guess that's pretty bad too, but... I don't know, I would have expected some broken bones in that. You know what I mean? Shotgun kind of show. Hmm. Okay, the scar look a little worse now than when it, it showed it. You can pick up the shotgun? Hey. Looks empty. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It'll be easy you gonna to put it back down, though? Oh. I guess you got a point. I give you that. Officer? Man, that lay and his leg, bro. Damn. Damn, dog. You got the flies all around you and shit. Damn, look at his leg. Oh my god. His legs. Shit. 
Nick, Nick, Lee, fam, you dropping the fucking keys, boy? Hey, hey, hey. all right, don't do that now. Come on, man. Playing games with me right now. You know better than this. You fucking cuffs off, nigga. Free, at last. Officer. Boy, his hand is too Oh my god. Uh, 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 holy shit! Holy shit. We should it. Oh my what god. What the hell? Oh my god. Get away from me! Lee, man, stop looking around. Get the, oh my god, get the piece. Oh yeah. Shit. Lee, what the, what the fuck you? is you doing? Yo, you selling right now, homie. Don't make oh. me do this! Ooh. Damn, look at your face. Say cheese. Man. Ain't nothing but teeth there. Damn. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Damn, how long are we out? Ash, who the fuck is that? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Um. Oh, Lord. The walker's out now. Ah! Girl in a horror flick right now. You, you, fall, you fumble in the bag every time. Ah! Oh, 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 Thank you. You drifting away from me. Gracious. Cause the motherfuckers trying to kill me. They said we not falling for that limp, dog. You hum you human out here. Hello. Anybody. Nice house. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be struggling, nigga. Got a teapot? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Man, you thinking about alcohol in a time like this? Help! Why do you? Anybody up there? Okay. Like I said, I've played this before. I played a little bit of this before, but it's been a long time. So I know like a few people maybe. Like the girl we just saw was, of course, the goat. I'm not gonna lie, she the goat. I wonder if anybody's home. Well, yeah. Clementine. Hello, anybody home? Yeah, we just gonna Need go around help. beating on the on the glass, huh? Right, 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 right. Screw Maybe it. nobody home. I'm just gonna go in. Oh, shit, fuck it, eh? We already convicted felon, ain't it? <laughs> Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? I wish a nigga would come to the slide and do talking about some don't shoot. 
You're getting blasted, dog. I don't know who you are. Ah, shit. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I'm not an intruder. Yes, you are, man. Just because you announced yourself, yourself don't mean Why you're not an intruder. Hunting? fruit it's fake damn <laughs> that's disappointing furniture overturned blood everywhere Jesus three new messages message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for mm -hmm. looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring okay, break. Yeah. Who? Message two. Who the fuck is that? Ed and got bit. That's what it is. <laughs> Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Damn. Message 3, left at 651 AM. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Damn. Daddy? Huh? Uh, that ain't me, but uh, how you doing? What the fuck is you gonna call 911 for? Yo, 911, my parents are in trouble in Atlanta. Not Atlanta, uh, where were they again? Savannah? Hello? You need to be quiet. Um, okay. You came here talking about some damn daddy. Uh, are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Yeah, well. Mm. Mm. That might not be happening. You know I mean? How old are you? Where are your parents? What's your name? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. That is smart. See? Can you that's, see me? That's lead I can see right you there, through Cole. the window. Oh, who the fuck? You get her off, you bro. Okay, that must be Sandra. Hey, yo, this nigga keep fumbling the back. Why was she in my face already? Yeah, I know you like that. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't go. Look, man, I pressed X, man. What the fuck? Alright, man, get your ugly ass off me. Bitch, you ain't going to spring break. You ain't finna have you, ain't finna have you a hot girl spring. Okay? You dead as fuck. Holy. Come in the bag of shit. Damn! Yo. Get off me, man. Uh, Face. 
Damn, that's tough. You had to deal with that. Man. Hi there. Good work, Clem. Cause um, I, I might be. I almost was late. Did so. you kill it? I'm pretty sure. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. No, she definitely I was. I think girl. so too. She definitely was. Clem. You've been all by yourself through this. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know. Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Get out there once the sun goes down. No, what the fuck? We need to find help before it gets dark. Why the hell would I want to go down yeah, there? Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yeah, what the fuck? Let's go. Stay close to me. I couldn't imagine a world like this in real life. I don't even know what would. I don't even know like how things would go. It'll probably end up pretty damn terrible. That gotta be like a weird ass first day of this. Like niggas can't get in contact with people. Niggas just turning, eating people. That first day gotta be hell. Ain't no way. Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this Who the rate. hell is these niggas? This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. He says hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't know. They won't. Damn. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? Nah, I'm that's saying they idea. won't. Let's go is fucked up. Who chose that? That's so fucked up, dog. Say to a little kid. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Yeah, like zombies can talk. What are you doing? We're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. Oh, it should oh. be safer there. Daughter. I'm not a dad. Um, just some guy, neighbor, or babysitter. Or babysitter. Or babysitter, I guess. Out of town. Let's get going. Hey man, don't look Stay at me like that. Shit, I'm technically mistake. am now. <laughs> what do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Yeah, I got time. Quick, let's go. I think big ass can't help, man. I got a bad leg and shit. What are you doing in there? Come on, man. Look at Clem, bro. Clem didn't want to check, man. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. <laughs> Fuck a tip, I need more than that. But it's bullshit.
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a, yeah. your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. I don't know the well, funny shit like, not really. Looks like, like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch. I ain't and really need the back and forth of all that you say. I'm, I'm just a guy. You know what I mean? It probably wouldn't have been that much of a hassle. Shit, we had to get out of here. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <sighs> How'd this happen? Jumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Hmm. Ooh, we. I say who. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stuck on that. Fuck it. I mean, if you press me, I don't give a damn. Nigga. I'm, I'm him. She's safe now, plenty. I guess I'll say nothing, nothing bad. bad. I just hope she's not in any now. I'm not some kidnapper, all right? I'm just trying to help. We can just leave it at that. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. <laughs> Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> when a horse plops is crazy. I miss 
lost my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How was he thinking about? I was dreaming about, I should say. That must be his wife. Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Hmm, damn. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? <laughs> cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girls. Uh... You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Talk your shit, talk so your shit. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some, just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Not really, because we was going to jail, but you know what I'm saying? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What <laughs> is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need a to professor. hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay. Caught you. Brother Kenny, what's up, dog? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, yeah, that's all we need, Kenny. right? 
How's your son doing? What's your plan? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. <laughs> you know. Uh, so what's your what's family's your plan? plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But hmm. We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. <laughs> Damn. He ain't talking about his truck like that. She didn't get the job done. That's all, all that matters. Um, I guess you go back. Damn. Here. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> you ain't want a history lesson, huh? How you doing, Duck? I good. Flee. I'm going to drive the tractor. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bikes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. I put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yeah. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my, my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right, let's go haul at Herschel now. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> it was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. 
Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Whoa, what's going on? Go! Oh, I'll get my gun! I don't hold this nigga damn pressure me with all good advice. Can't let that, that advice is pretty elite, you know, like when he came at me with it. Though. I'm sorry, dude. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. Excuse me? I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Damn. Got that ride to make it if you want it. I'm not gonna lie, Kenny, bro. You really could have helped out, dude. <laughs> My nigga looked at him and just ran with his son. I mean, I respect it. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make sure your well, son is straight. This is as far as we're going. Damn. And it's far Damn. enough. Damn, Tommy just helped us out. He just died off my off that bullshit that Doug did, bro. At least I I, I think well no, nah, he had to have done it. This nigga ran over his leg, bro. Who man's is this? Okay, so this wondering ass hey you doing too much in anyway. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, that is not Fuck. a That's the people. Oh well, you don't want you don't want the whole block up. Oh. Damn. What the fuck is this? Run! Where the hell this came from? Why oh, do you got destroyed? We can't 
take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We Ooh, don't know who these conflict. people are. They could be dangerous. You're right here. Worse, you know. they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What? We have a whole what little boy here. I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. <laughs> God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My mm. son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Mm. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Bitten? What? He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. Are you tweaking? We have to again? end this now. Oh, Over nah. my dead body. Whoa, that's we'll crazy. dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut He's up. a little boy, We gotta though. throw him out fuck? or smash his head in. Kenny, oh, my God. Me. What do we do about this guy? What is nigga tweaking, son? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. Fuck this nigga, we bro. kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is we doing time. anything. Shut up, Lily. Oh. And you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, I we're about like to Kenny, be trapped in here with one of those big, things. Though. What the I'm hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's, He's not, not bit, bitten. Though. What the Please fuck? Stop you ain't even out stop there, dude. Him. Ooh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? Ooh. You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not Shit. some snot nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. Ooh. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, Man. you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Yo, this nigga wildin', man. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 God damn it, Lily. Get the fuck out of the way, man. Oh, boy. Ooh, how many slips are we gonna take? Uh, nah. Nah, get off of me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's fucking bad. Man. That must have been car. Uh, whatever the fuck. You okay? Just Come great, on. thanks. I don't remember you for Was there a moment when I didn't have to? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Shoot. You're gonna get in. Shut up. Look at homie, bro. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. 
That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Bad. Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. Doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. <laughs> right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh... Man, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. Hey, y'all see, you see how it. we... Oh, and I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Okay, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Well, I'm saying you got we, it, boss. Yo, we go in the jerk, so we run and shit. You feel me? Who doing that? See, when me and Kenny were together, but we really just walked in your establishment, and we call the shots now. I'm the captain now. You feel me? Man, Carly, man, you the fucking goat, but. Doug, I don't know you, dog, but heard or seen anything? Nothing. That nigga got, that nigga got socks and Step outside, have a look around. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Huh. Sure. Uh, let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell him all we care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. How does something like this even come about? <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. AKA name, Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Did, but it wow, was too risky. The same damn and thing. A bunch of guys showed up and they tried. Did not mean to do that. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. It's a combination lock. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hand on us, huh? Oh shit! What? Do you what know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Ah, 
You're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. <laughs> Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough yeah, to go and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. He I'll has see what I can find. Does he not like the damn shit on? Oh, that's his brother. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, that's fucked up. So, I mean, we had the little. Hmm, damn. Take a break. Oh, let me look around first before we do anything like that. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, that shit like some ass. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So, you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? On the computer. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Alright, well um let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Huh. There are no batteries. batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You over here trying to work on a, a supposedly, in quotations, broken radio, and all you had to do was put some goddamn... What? Uh, that was real bot, bot movement right there. NPC movement. That's ridiculous. Energy bar. Oh, did we? I can give her energy bar. No, You're a pretty no. good shot. I know who I'm giving it to. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Hmm. So you're a reporter. I don't know why I said it like that. Um. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. Maybe we can. I raise? can't tell. Riz, maybe? My news editor was Question eating mark? about five feet away from me, oh, and I shit. would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. Oh, that I'm sorry. Be at. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. That guy saved you. Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. <laughs> they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement Damn. sort of way. Damn. Huh? Oh, nothing. Damn. I might not be the one. That's tough. How'd you end up We than drove you? up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. Damn, Doug. How you feel about How we things, doing? bro? Good. 
if I can ask have a look around outside? Can I ask him that? I no. guess not. All right. She kind of called that nigga out. That's crazy. He definitely a parent basement ass nigga. All right. Um. What? Ooh, man. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What's up, Clem? Hey there. How are you doing? Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll Don't worry, I got, I got an energy bar right there. I got the energy bar. We should get to know each other's kind of... So, uh... Um, are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> being good is good, despite oh the circumstances. Ooh, we. Yep. Family. That was a hell conversation. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think he so. Said, You're doing good a good job. Good. Well, sit tight. Boy, what okay. The fuck? Come on, Lee. Get it together, man. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. The pills are in there. Oh yeah. Oh, there's another damn energy bar. Hmm. <laughs> Let me get that. I got two. Let me go ahead and get her away. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Boy, why wouldn't I take care of Clementine, man? Oh, damn. Okay, so that's how you walk. Damn, nigga. That's how you walk faster. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's talk to y'all. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Hey, man, Lily. what the f My dad's Larry. Yeah, yeah, we know that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. How his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, he tried to get buck with us. Fuck. You hear? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Here yeah, you go. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> it's just that. Yeah. You got kids, families. I'm not gonna call him. Eh, Never mind. You. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Know what I'm saying? Um... You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. Oh, did you in the family they business? Were, uh, we were close. Oh, I'm they were sorry. family business. We found an Damn. older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. 
Ah. That's what do you dumb. think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright, damn, how many damn energy bars are they? Uh I'm gonna give you give you one lay, but I don't know how many around here. Gotta gotta get we one of Ducky. Anything happen to Ducky? I know, hun. Hey Lee. As a union. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. <laughs> anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Of course. The fuck? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Okay, yeah, this Should is a we family, go looking for them? family business. Damn. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Dad. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, Damn. you got a second? Sure. What's happening? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Gee, man, we had to save your son, man. Try to let it go. <laughs> Shit, a console question mark? Oh, not we that just time. need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Appreciate well, you, little hungry. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Try to get some rest, hun. So How can I now. with those things out there? Um, alright. So... He got a... Damn. <laughs> How many shits are there, bro? I guess you could potentially give it to... Him. Hold on. I wonder if I can find one more. If I can find one more, I can pretty much give one to everybody. And then nobody be left out, basically. Ooh, battery. Need that. Well, you are injured, man. Maybe it might help. I don't fucking know. Something. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Hmm. Possible. We gotta, gotta see how, how things working. And... Let's get one to Carly. Here. I've been finding I'm sorry, some stuff Doug. If I can find oh, another um, one, I will give thanks. you that one. Man. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. Her. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. 
You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Don't worry about me. I do this over here. I mean, feel me? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. All right, uh. nothing I need in here. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Oh? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Whoa. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Damn. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. Wrong on way. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I don't trust you, damn. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Alright, cuz a minute ago you sound like you was trying to put a bullet in my head, and that wasn't finna happen. Drop your bitch ass. Play games with me. Damn, Lee. Killing the state senator is crazy. Oh my god. He's always me, shit. Damn, killing the state senator is crazy. You know you getting time. Oh my god. You was getting time, my boy. You went finna see the daylight. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Hey. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Oh, okay. like that. Here we go. Do you 
have kids. Oh, no. Jeez. You don't have a family? Uh... What do your parents do? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them because they're dead. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I- Whoa! I killed someone, I'm not that bad. I'm not a bad guy, I got in some trouble. Ooh, they gonna make me do that now? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't know if I can just up and say I killed someone. I'm, I'm definitely nine times ten going with the, I've, I've been in trouble. Um. Wow, because it's like I really want to be honest with her, but she's a little young. So she's going to probably take that shit hard. I'm like, nigga, you kill somebody? I don't fuck with you. Uh, I got into some trouble, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's go for that man, kid. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I asked you a question. Uh, but... I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Could you ask me that question again? Because I kind of glitched everything out. And <laughs> not gonna lie. How you doing? Okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Good. <laughs> get the dangerous ones. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking I feel around. Back. She asked me that okay. question. I asked you a question. I, that shit glitched out, man. I'm sorry. Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Both hands came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of you was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. TV remote. 
It's the remote to my dad's TV. God, that shit worked. That's what I figured. Yep. Nothing on TV. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Alright, I think I looked through everything I need, so... Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Might as well just be honest. Was he bad? He was. Damn, Lee. State Senator is crazy, son. You. Oh. I, that was hey sudden. there, huh? this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Hey, go Glenn. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. Shit, we can head out now, I'm pretty sure. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Which way did we come out the mo- I mean, not the mo- to the drugstore. Did you see that? Who the hell is that in the middle? Sure did. Who is that? Ready to shoot. Guys. Oh, oh that's Glenn. Okay, so it's like Jesus random Glenn? out there in the parking lot. I thought Glenn was right, getting eaten so just now. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We <laughs> can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> she got a shot, though. I'm not lying. To I'm with Carly on this one. I would have left her ass day. Sorry. 
I can see if maybe there's a few walkers, like the walkers at the door. I can see that. But this, not okay. bad. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. We can hide by that RV. If we're quiet and keep our heads down. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. That seemed like a less risky move right there. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Breaking the glass is crazy. I might have to do that though. I guess it was. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. All right, let me let me go back to the other the other side. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Maybe be something out there. If we run to the van. Oh shit. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. All right, let's go back. <laughs> let's let's go back to the truck, bro. Just get the screwdriver. I just break that shit. Hopefully, that doesn't fuck us over. They really want to get into that room. Not exactly sure what to do here. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. We can hide by that pickup. I am lost. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Cause he won't Oh my god. He won't punch out the window. No, I wouldn't be smart anyway. into that room. How 
are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their groaning attracts the others. He's not going anywhere. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Oh my god, I'm lost. smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. So... Y'all knew that was right there? I didn't know that was gonna be right there. I didn't know that was anything significant. I didn't even know that was a fucking pillow. I thought it was just a sheet of paper on the floor. Well, I tell you. Um... I guess let's go back to the truck. gonna do with that I don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows what are you gonna do with that I don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows I'm done trying to punch out windows Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Mm. Oh. That was sick. Yo. <laughs> Homemade suppressor, what you mean? Homemade suppressor. See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Now we on time. Now we making moves. We making plays now. Oh, yeah. Let's get over here. Oh, that girl 
feels okay. Oh, it is just a win. I'll wait for him to get closer. Hit him in the head. Please, hit him. Nice, nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. We do this. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that <laughs> ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Even Are you better two weapon. done? Well, you're having a moment, man. Do more. That should help. Yeah, he should have been shit. God damn. Shit, that shit right through his head. Damn near. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Shit, I don't even need y'all two for real. I'm gonna really light that with the fire axe. Play with me. On my face, dog. Rad. Light work. Light work. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. <laughs> in a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to shot. break through that board first. It was worth the shot. Yeah, let me in this dough, nigga. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, okay. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be wasted fine. our time, man. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. He's not Christian. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? Mm -hmm. What do you mean borrow? Mm -hmm. Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. And do it for me. We need to get going. I do got Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, <laughs> Not my step man. back. You ain't bugging, it's just bro. two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. She just wanna help. You can't. Miss. 
Just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No! 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 Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yes, please. Let's get out of here. That was a waste of time. Fucking time. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Damn. They had barely any startup time, man. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good right here, Glenn, things bro. back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. That was Won't the most, survive like, any more stress. The next order of business like, is getting the most Pokemon pills shit out of the I've ever seen in my life on a video game. And that was the most Brock shit ever. She's bit, and this nigga goes, Yo, boyfriend? Yo, my man. Come on. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. This nigga wildin'. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think I can get to there with that. Nope, that's not happening. Yeah, that ain't happening. We do got a weapon now, so maybe we can go out there. What's the party doing, man? The ladies, you know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. <laughs> Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. How we doing? Sneak out here playing Cactus Sable. Have a look around Waste outside. Damn time. Let's have a look around. Okay. <clears throat> Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. He well fucking done, Doug. Damn. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. 
Did you guys try to get in there and Crap, get I, weapons? Damn it, I didn't ask this yeah, nigga this question. Too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Can't reach that brick. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. <laughs> we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I might create too much noise. Awesome. Now to distract those things. How are they? Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Alright, now we can get the brick. Kobe. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? I gotta be rough. Hey, huh? bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of him tomorrow, that helps. <laughs> My man ain't listening to a word you saying. He like, yo. Give me flesh, nigga. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Uh -oh. Are you at the fucking fire? Yo, you wildin', son. This nigga done left the fire axe. Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I don't know.
How long we still have it? It's good to know. Oh, oh the line. We gotta hurry. Oh my god, the alarm. Oh, that sucks. Saving Carly, bro. Especially a good friend. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yo, in the slight chance, the slight fucking chance, I get the off Larry, I'm offing him. Ain't no way he did that and I try to help you out. Like, what the fuck? That nigga's a bitch. Nah, I need to go holler at your father. You know what I'm saying? I need to holler at your pops because he really, uh, he really did that. Oh, 
Oh. Can you just look at it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like I have much to begin with. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to Yeah, let me, let me holler at you. Not like we have much to begin with. No, you're dead. Yo, when I catch him lacking, son? He's getting off. There ain't no fucking way. Find your friend. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. Respect that. I mean... Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. No, you ain't getting your, you ain't getting your bitch back, bro. Sorry. She dead and gone. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Yeah, you really sad about that shit, like, you nigga. Know, you ain't even know the chick. She already had a nigga. She wasn't worried about you. What's it? Hold on. Can I look back at his trunk? Yo, I swear. Did his bumper... His bumper, uh... His tag say shit's happened? That's fire. Oh, he got a stick on his shit that says shit happens? That's funny. Again, I saw the Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Yeah, we have to take care of each other. Yeah, we I do. I can't believe Larry hey, did that shit. About man. Clementine. Yeah. What's Earlier, up? I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks. Appreciate kid. that, man. You got it. Man, Kenny's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Kenny, I fuck with you. You you and your family, I fuck with y'all. That other nigga though. He yo. I'm telling you. Ain't no way you trying to knock me out in a little of which trying to escape. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Not really. Pretty fast. Well, he would have died. Know, and I would have been like that. We just met. And he was such a. It's just that. I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I stand. Wait. Me? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. And I don't know. He in a moment. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Bruh. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Thanks, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow pow. pow. Nigga, don't look at me. Super dinosaur was yo, yo. But you know Larry what? K, bro. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Are well, you straight, man? I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. 
I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's holler at you, man. Oh man, Clementine. You know what I'm saying? That bullshit you pulled back in the kitchen. You like my daughter? I should have fucked you. What? She's cool. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. Then why did you That's ask right. me that? Oh, he knows. I know who you are. I don't I really care. You, you go near my daughter or step out of line once. And so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Ooh, ooh. Hey, Lee. Do you ooh, have I just... I... <laughs> Yo, he giving me Micah vibes right now. I don't like this nigga. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. He about to be dead because of me in a second. Dead because of me. You can't be like that. He keep playing these games with me. We're lucky to have you. Probably the reason why he laid me I hope out. That's though. the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Uh, too soon. <laughs> you may have spoken too soon. Now we got no light. I right. thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. Yeah, what do you think? No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> That did not sound good at all. Honesty, 46% lied to him. 52 chose duck. 54 sided with Kenny, of course. 55. 53, I meant. 53 refused to give her the gun. 49 chose Carly. Damn. Um, I'm pretty sure there's not really going to be no light credits or anything so I'm gonna end the video right here you know what I'm saying we we gonna have episode two drop but uh until then comment like subscribe and I'll see y'all later man